guys. What's going on? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. You guys know what it is? Uh, and hey, I'm your host, Beaker. We got my bunnies, Melly and Paya. Hey, guys. That's Melly. What's up, Mel? Today's episode is sponsored by Primitive Era. We don't do sponsor videos that often, but when we do, it's because we genuinely like the game. And two, we've got a video planned in the near future that, uh, let's just say, it's going to help us do. But also, man, this time happened to be a, a different one. My buddy Judo, we were talking about this game, and, and we were talking about how it kind of reminded us both of some childhood gaming memories. I don't even think we played the same games. It's just this sort of base building, fine tuning your sort of your empire, your your town, your city, whatever. I'm a sucker for this stuff. Let me show you guys around. And also we're gonna try to not get kicked out of our clan because I just joined the clan. So I'm addicted to mobile gaming. We all know that. And the best ones, in my opinion, the ones I like, they're based around base building, keeping your economy going, right? And of course, going to smash other people's bases. But for some reason, I've always liked the base building part the best. Primitive Era does a really good job at that. And that's what reminds me of, of childhood games that I absolutely loved, you know, managing the resources, including a million other things you can do, whatever you're into. You can even go fishing now. There's a storyline and they call it like the storyline, the story of the game. And it leads you through it right here. It's just going to tell us the next part of the story. We did all that. Let's get the next sheaf all. So guys, you probably saw back there, we could have done the rubies, right? To instantly do this upgrade. I'm a sucker for items in games. I know that sounds weird, but if you know me, if you know, I was stack the items to the ceiling as much as I can. Some of the items in this that I've actually been using all the time are these speed ups. Let's do it. Nice. Yeah, man, pretty satisfying when you get a bunch of free items like that and you get to use them all at once. We like it. Okay, so now that we've done that, the storyline continues. What do we get, dude? Where are we going now? This is what I was talking about, man. This is what reminds me of games that I loved when I was younger. Getting a little bit of story. I'm a sucker for this. Getting a little bit of story in between like the tasks that you're doing. Our village has begun to take shape. This was no small feat. No, nah, man. Hey, and there's Meyer. She's cool. What is this? Let's check it out. It always tells you what is next to do in the solo, you know, main missions. You've got these daily missions, upgrades and buildings, train troops. You know what it is. In this case, Hunter Shelter. Let's get one of those. We'll put it out here. Done. Great. Get the builder on it. Let's go. Now, guys, look at the currencies up top. There's a lot. You got food, you got water, right? Like the stuff you need to survive. And then just building materials. Charcoal in the middle there. You notice we don't have any. If you click on it, it'll just take you right to like, hey, how do we fix this? I love this. This is like city simulator stuff where it's going to tell you how to get it done. You just got to make everything fine tuned, right? Since it's it's charcoal, right? We actually have to go put wood in there to make it into charcoal. Done. And look, if you just want to chill and go fishing, click on the waterfront fishing option. Just like real life, you know? Mash that button, catch some fish. It's probably more relaxing, actually. And it's not for nothing. You're going to get some good rewards, cosmetic rewards, and resources that you're going to need. Okay, so the map is pretty big. It gets bigger all the time. You like chop more trees down and it just gets increasingly bigger. But over here, we got the Hero's Lodge. This is probably one of the more important ones. We actually just got some scrolls to, to try to get some legendary recruits. We should try to do that. If you've played mobile games with heroes, you kind of get the idea. They're like the general of your army, one of the fronts of your army, but they also have special either abilities or like stat boosts, right? They're going to affect everything in a positive way, depending on what you want, right? So first things first, let's try to pull some of these legendaries. Let's keep going. One more. All right, guys, so now that we finally got an awesome hero, you can see you get different perks and abilities, especially as you level it up, either skins or individual heroes like this. I just kind of like collecting stuff like this in games. It's all right, but a hero is only good as, you know, what their level is, right? So let's go into our new hero, Sawtooth. Let's go. Let's put in everything we can, right? Because this is our best hero. We can use these magic potions. Let's go. Use all of them. Done. And last but not least, these are huge. All right, so it says we're going to get to level 10. So it looks like we need more Ritual do another one of the currencies to get uh, individual skills. But so far, we've already got a much higher level hero. So that skill right there is easily the best skill I have in any of my heroes. It's just going to make the squad bigger. It's just going to buff the whole squad and make them able to be m much bigger. You can see there is a ton of stuff you can do on the map. I mean, you've even got like animals. Let's check out something fairly easy. Level one barbarians. We're going to press rally. Attack when the rally is full. Let's go. All right, so let's get our new hero in there. Let's go. Let's uh, refill everybody that we need. You can see this is a really quick march. You see the march on the bottom. It is different depending on what the target is. You'll see like sometimes it's much longer. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, this is like overwhelming force. What's good? But look, don't worry. When you're a noob like me, there is other options. Like you don't have to just try to attack high level stuff all the time. Yo, we're marching right past that giant warthog. We should have gone for that. It's level three, though. That would have probably owned us. Maybe not. We got that good hero now. Cool. We're going up against these barbarians. 
Let's get it. It's a wrap. All right, guys, you can see in the middle here, we got my village. We're level six, right? Let's go up against, uh, let's see what we can do. All right, all right, all right. So if we want to attack someone way far away here, how long is that going to take? All right, man, we're marching over to somebody's base. We have not done this yet. We haven't had to. We just got high enough level to even do this. All right, guys, attacking our first base here. So there's enemy bases. There's animals. You know, you, you can attack and gather stuff. There's also just straight up gathering resources. Let's go. It's a short march. 50 seconds. Cool. Guys, I love when games have a login bonus, right? It just sort of gets you like, hey, I want to check in. I want to say what's up to the clan. It gives you, gives you uh, incentive to do that. And if you look at the top, it's going to count how many consecutive days you've logged in, right? And the more you log in consecutively, you're going to get these OP, like really high level. Like, look at how many buffs there are. And guys, you get a guaranteed hero every 30 draws, meaning play the game for 30 days. Hit that login. You're guaranteed a hero. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed checking this out. This reminds me of so many games I used to play with my friends when I was just good memories, man. Good memories of when I was, I don't know why I'm saying, was I this tall? I guess. Let me collect some more of these. So, you know, I'm going to need the resources. You know, I am. Wow. Wow. Okay. I like this. I like this. All right. That's enough for now. While we're here, let's make this lucky garden. Yo, we just made a lucky garden. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let us know if you did in the comments below. There's going to be, speaking of below, in the description, there's going to be some links to check out Primitive Era. If you guys like base building, resource management, you know, sort of city building with a bit of story in between, that kind of hits all the buttons for me, man. It really does remind me of my childhood. So maybe some of you guys will be the same if you're, you know, like me. <laughs> Again, check out Primitive Era for free in the description below. And thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for the sponsor as well. Thanks to Primitive Era. This was cool. I'm glad we got to check it out. And guys, we'll see you next time right here on the One and Only Beakers Lab for our very special next video. Cool. Peace, gang.